efficiency is what you need as an opposite force to gravity. And in terms in terms of humanity, what are the gravitational pulls? All those fears that we have as humans, those are the gravitational pulls. The gravitational pulls of death, the gravitational pulls of negativity, the gravitational pulls of um, disturbance, of disempowerment, anything that is negative in your life is a gravitational pull. So the very thing that you want to do is to try and find out what's the opposite, what's the buoyancy force, what makes the piece of lead of metal that sinks to the bottom of the ocean float on top of the water. We know the Archimedes principle is basically just the volume of water, the weight of the water expanded or displaced is in fact going to make sure that the piece of metal floats. So that the buoyancy by reconstructing the sequences of how the, the iron ore is arranged and in which way it's shaped will cause the boat to float. Your life almost is the same. We start off with gravitational we start off with gravitational pulls. Yep. Those negative forces that will pull us down or cause depression or whatever it is or anything negative. Should we stop? We can uh, pause and, and actually this is a very good piece for the listeners that despite the disturbances that are occurring, we can remain focused and stay on the, the stream of thought and continue. Absolutely. And this is exactly how life comes. So rather than cutting this segment out, I'm just going to leave it in. That's right. <laughs> That's good. So you've overcome your, you've overcome your gravitational pull and turn it into a buoyancy factor of floating. And that's important in life. I think that, you know, one can go around the physics of it all and that's not the purpose of the discussion here. The purpose of the discussion here is that as a businessman, instead of doing things A, B, C, how about trying doing it C, B, A? Or what sequence do you use certain arrangements? I mean, entrepreneurs are known. You do what you do with what you've got. There is no more. There is no magic formula. There is no book that will fix it up. There is no real knowledge to fix up. All that knowledge will do is help you expand your understanding of a particular situation. And today, knowledge is for free. I mean, I have no idea, and I take exception to the fact that we could have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars for courses and hundreds and thousands of dollars for grades and education, when at this point, like Khan Academy, dot org is totally free for on every